In closing, be persistent, ask questions, trust your instincts. I'm going to zip to the restroom. But mom, we have the Q&A now. Are you all right? I've noticed an increase in urinary frequency in the last two weeks and... Well, your body mass index is over 30. The higher the BMI, the greater the risk of developing health issues. I've had abdominal pain for a month. Are you working long hours or under stress? Well, I am a public interest lawyer. Long working hours can cause physical and or mental stress that manifests physically. Half day today? Very funny. After 18 years of full days, you'll get half days too. See you tomorrow. I've been having abdominal pain for two months. That's the most common complaint for IBS. Does it start shortly after eating and go away after a bowel movement? I've heard everything from weight gain and aging to digestion. I've done everything from increasing fiber and exercise to cutting dairy. Mom, listen to your body. Insist on being checked again. Your symptoms are persisting. Why are you being so dismissive of your health? You are forced about everything else. I went to three different doctors. They gave me their professional advice and I respect it. If I gave my legal opinion, I would deserve the same. But you're still urinating frequently and feeling abdominal pain. I'm 53 years old. Women my age just experience aches and pains. Let's at least follow up with the gynecologist since IBS was ruled out. Grandma, do you remember who in our family had health problems like heart trouble or diabetes or cancer? In my day, people didn't talk about what they had. But I... I do know that my grandmother and one of her sisters died from cancer. Doctor, my daughter collected a family medical history, and it includes information I wasn't aware of before. I'd like to refer you for genetic counseling, and we'll order some tests to rule out cancer. Having our family medical history helped me convince my doctor to further evaluate my symptoms. It's important to learn if you have a genetic mutation that can put you at increased risk for cancer. This isn't just for me, it's for my daughter too, or any future children in our family. The results of your CA-125 blood test came back outside the normal range, so I'm referring you to a gynecologic oncologist. Thank you for coming today. As you know, I performed a history and physical exam, including a pelvic exam, and reviewed your CA-125 and imaging studies and it appears that you could have ovarian cancer. What? But I consulted three different doctors. Maybe we should get a second opinion. It's always a good idea to get a second opinion, but do it right away. Even though ovarian cancer can also affect women who don't have any family history, no one took me seriously before I knew cancer ran in my family. How are you feeling? A bit fatigued, and I have this tingling sensation in my hands and feet. Is there anything you can do to ease it? That might be a sign of neuropathy. Let's lower your dose and see how you feel. How was this week? Much better, after you adjusted the chemo dose. Is Hasina in? No, she's off today. She had chemo yesterday. Hasina has cancer? She was just at the Monday staff meeting. Depending on the kind of treatment, cancer stage, overall health and type of work, some people can work during their treatment. Last chemo today, Hasina. How are you feeling? <sighs> Relieved, but anxious. Oh, that's normal to feel anxious. Why don't you look into support groups? We'll see you back here in three months for your follow-up scans. Esther. I don't think I've thanked you. For what, Mom? For being my advocate when I found it difficult and frightening to advocate for myself. It's hard work to advocate for others. So thank you. I'm proud of you.
Black women have a higher ovarian cancer mortality rate than white women, who have a higher incidence rate. Compared to white women, black women experience a significant disadvantage in their treatment and prognosis that is not fully explained by differences in age, stage at diagnosis, extent of comorbidity, smoking, insurance status, or treatment provider. Women know their bodies best. Tell your doctor if something feels wrong and that you want to rule out ovarian cancer. If you're seriously concerned, tell the doctor it's urgent. Insist on not waiting months for an appointment. Seek out a specialist. If ovarian cancer is suspected, it's important to see a gynecologic oncologist because of their specialized training. A good doctor will support you getting a second opinion and can even give you a referral. The strongest risk factor is a family history of cancer, but most people with ovarian cancer don't have any family history of cancer. For ovarian cancer information, guidance, and support, please visit sharecancersupport.org or call SHARE at 866-537-4273. We're here to help. Thank <laughs> you.